In this video, we are talking all about the new magic grab tool in Canva. So where do you find it? How do you use it? We're going to go over all of that in this video. Okay. So I have a photo on screen and you're going to find the magic grab tool under the edit menu. Whenever you have a photo selected within Canva, so I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, image right here and then come up under edit photo. And now within Canva, you have this new magic studio. So this is a newly announced feature in Canva, the magic studio. And basically what it is, is just Canva's attempt to consolidate all of their AI technology related tools where it's using AI technology into one place. So you have Magic Studio and then you have some Magic Design tools and other spots within Canva, but they're sort of trying to put it all under this branded umbrella and calling it Magic Studio. Uh, some of these have been here like Background Remover. You've probably seen that and familiar with what that does. But now we have this Magic Grab option and this option is what I'm talking about in this video. I have other videos on these other tools. So if you want to see that, just check out this channel look for my other videos but in this video we're talking about this new magic grab option okay so what does this do with any photo selected just click on magic grab and in essence is what it's doing is it's trying to find the subject and it's going to separate the subject from the background and put it on a different layer so when you use the background remover tool in the past, you're probably aware that it gets rid of the background, it throws it out, it leaves you with just the subject of your image, which can be helpful. But now what this magic grab tool does is it keeps the background, it attempts to fill in those pixels where the subject used to be. And now if you go under the position menu here, you can see that I actually have my subject now on a separate layer than my background. And now I can actually move him around and put him somewhere else in my photo, which could be very helpful if say I know I wanted to slide him to the edge of the screen and have some place over here for some ad copy or something else. Uh, so this is a really cool option in Canva. Uh, the one issue I have with it is that it's not perfect as of yet filling in pixels here. So in other words, it's using those AI tech, not that AI technology to try to determine what was in the place or what should be in the place of where the subject was standing. So let's look at another example here. This one right here, we have this uh, lady walking across the street here. So I could just go in here again, select the photo, edit photo, click on this magic grab option. It's going to try to find the subject. She's in the foreground. It's going to try to find her, separate her from the background. And then of course, it's got to fill in those pixels where she's walking because if I move her around, I just don't want a big white gap in my photo. So let's see how it does here. Another example here. So we can see that it did a reasonable job here. Now I'm not sure what this is, uh, but it does a, re a reasonable job. I think that does a reasonable job. Uh, so in some instances, this can work pretty well. And then suddenly you have the flexibility of putting your foreground subject anywhere you want within the photo. And then you have the other part of the photo, which you can use for ad copy or whatever else, whatever reason you have for moving your subject around. Now, it's not always going to work perfectly. Here's another one, very simple background. So this should work pretty well. Let's just do this example real quick. This one should have no problem because that's a pretty easy background. So it should find the subject, no problem. You can see it did it really quickly, filled it in really quickly, not an issue. Now, where you are going to get into issues uh, is when you start to have more complicated backgrounds. Now, you probably know this from using the background remover in the past. If you have a subject that clearly is delineated from the background, it works pretty well. But suddenly, if you have a subject like this, where you have something like a shadow, you're probably going to run into issues. So let's go ahead and see what it does right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click edit photo, use the magic grab option. Again, it finds her, but look, it's picked up part of the shadow. And of course you have a shadow remaining. So it doesn't really work with this photo here. Let's look at another example here. Uh, this one, there's an, again, a shadow behind her. So if I come in here and select her or select the photo, edit photo, magic grab, it finds her, it removes her, but the shadow is still there. Now in this photo, depending on where the light source was, you could sort of fake this and it might still work. But a lot of times this is the issue that you're gonna have with this tool if you have shadows in your background Right now, Canva is not very good in terms of replacing pixels when there's texture or shadow. It does not always do a good job replacing texture or shadow. Let's just run through some more examples real quick. So here's another one. Edit photo. We'll try grab. Actually, not too bad. Not perfect, but not too bad of a job there. Uh, here's another one here. Edit photo. Magic grab. Okay, so reasonable job on that. So actually it's doing a better job on some of these than I expected it to. Uh, but again, if you have a really simple background, one that's totally blurred out, 
uh, then texture isn't that much of an issue and it can do a reasonable job. This guy here, you could actually move him so it looks like he's a little higher off the ground. Now, I mentioned before, this is just like using the background remover tool, except you're keeping the background, but you're separating the background in the in the foreground subject. However, you actually are using the background remover tool. If you come in here uh, and you go under edit photo, it actually is applying the background remover. You're hitting magic grab, but it actually is applying the background remover tool and just keeping the background itself and then filling in the pixels. And the reason why I mentioned this is because it applies this, we know, because we can see this little settings icon. And so since I've done this, even though I used the magic grab tool, it applied the background remover. I can click in here under the settings. I can come in here. If I say, hey, I don't like this little piece of grass that left, I could come in here, just clean it up slightly like that, and then go ahead and apply that. Step out of it now, and now it's going to come in here. And even though I started with the Magic Wrap tool, it applied that background remover tool, which let me then go in there and use that background eraser, eraser within the background tool. And so now I have my subject, uh, but I've gotten rid of a little extra part of that subject that I didn't like because I still was able to do that because it wasn't just one thing that I couldn't edit. It actually did reply that background remover tool, giving me the ability to go in and use that little eraser that's part of the tool. So I'm just mentioning that because I want you to know exactly how this is working behind the scenes because that that just gives you a little bit more flexibility when you use this magic grab tool it's applying the background remover it's just keeping the background but it also means you can step into this background remover and you could come in here and if you wanted to make an edit you want it you could make an edit like that obviously we don't want to do that one so let's hit control Z actually let's use this restore thing here and come up here and bring them back. Now I've messed it up a little bit, but you get the idea. You can come in here and you can step into that background remover tool since it actually does get applied when you use the magic grab tool. Let's try this one, edit photo, magic grab. Okay, so here's one where I don't know what this is, but I think because this guy had a shadow in front of him, so let me just delete, let me just, uh, whenever you do this, if you get rid of the background or something and you wanna bring it back, you just wanna restore everything, you can come under edit photo and you can actually hit this check box to turn it off and it'll bring back the original photo. So this one here, you see this, this fella here, he has the shadow underneath of him. So that shadow again is enough to throw off this magic grab. If I do magic grab where it sees the shadow here, because it's so dark, it needs to fill that with an object. And so it does something that's kind of weird. Now we could come in here, we could try the other tools here. So let me click on this bad background here. I don't know if you remember, you have this magic eraser, but I could come in here and use this magic eraser and try to erase out this darker area. And when you use the magic eraser tool, it just tries to fill this area in sort of based on the rest of the, the rest of the photographs. So if we tried something like that here, let's see how it does with that area. And again, this is one of those areas where I feel like Canva is still hit and miss. See, it just did not blend very well. So Canva is still not great uh, with all these different things. So again, a little bit better than what the uh, magic grab did here, but still this background just doesn't look right. So sometimes it still is hit or miss with these tools in Canva. If you have a background that's a little bit more complicated, but again, the good news is I think this AI technology is improving more and more. So this is something where Canva is going to get better and better. So I think we can expect it to get better over time. Okay. One more example here. Let's do this one. Let's go again, edit photo, magic grab, and we see that it did, uh, Okay job, but again, there's a little bit of a shadow. It doesn't quite look right. So this is one of those things where maybe I would just throw out the background entirely. And if you wanted to put another brick wall behind them, remember you still have all the camera elements in here working for you. So I'll bring this in, I'll move it to the background expand it out. So just remember that you still have all these other tools in Canva. So if it doesn't work, you always can try a different technique. And again, with all these AI tools, Use them when you can save time. Use them when they're helpful, but don't expect total magic. Don't expect to never have to do any work. It's just not realistic to have these magic tools that are instantly gonna give you the results you want every time. It just doesn't work that way. So have patience with them, use them, uh, get to know them, get to know the situations where they are gonna work for you, and then know the situations where maybe a different approach is gonna work better. So again, this is the magic grab tool within Canva. It is pretty cool. Any photo, select the photo, edit photo, use that magic grab. You can separate your subject from the background, and it gives you the flexibility of moving your subject around somewhere else creating some space for some ad copy. So again, the magic grab tool, get to know it. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. 
And if you like Canva videos, you can subscribe to this channel because this channel is all about teaching you Canva, all the newest and latest things in Canva, which I think are helpful. Okay, so talk to you soon.